take it to Carla, who will interview an owner and operator of JMT Limousine Service. Hello, Mr. Chihuahua. I'm Carla Chihuahua for EJMK. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you for doing this interview today with us. You're welcome. When did you begin your business? I, I started back in 1998 as an owner operator. And when did you decide to become a driver? I decided to become a driver right after graduating from Roosevelt High School, which was back in 1989. Right. Okay. But like, why did you decide? Why did I decide yeah. to? Okay. Well, I always like to drive and I decided to become a driver because I like driving and I thought by going to LEX and spend time there, we'll be able to meet all kinds of different people from all over the world. And that's when I mostly decide to become a driver. Who or what are your biggest competitors? It's, there's few, actually there's a lot of them. But some of the big ones is uh, Music Limousine Service, Bob's Limousine Service, uh, Carrie Limousine Service, a whole bunch. So you would say that other, other um, like limousine businesses are your competitors? Yeah, because there's a lot of them and there's small companies like me, there's bigger companies. So. And they have more to provide for the customer? They don't have no more than me to provide the car. It's just they have a they're so, big in volume of uh, cars. All right. And what would you say are some advantages and disadvantages of being on your own rather than working for someone else? One of the disadvantages is that uh, if I was working for another company, I will have to go to the company, pick up the car, and that's a waste of time, basically. And advantage was well, the other way. I get to drive my own car from my home Back and forth, I can finish, start it early from home, be back home anytime, you know. You don't own an operator, so you drive your own car. Income-wise, would you say that you make more money as your own, as your own jefe? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. How so? You get to keep, like, it's your own profit, right? It's your own profit. You got a lot of overheads, which means you got a payment, insurance, fuel, all kind of things. But uh, still, it's much better working on your own. Than working for somebody else. And how big is your business? Big. My business is a small business. I have, I have one car, but I have uh, other colleagues that they work. They help me, or the other way around. I help them, and we're. I guess I don't know. Let's see. We're probably about as an owner operators myself plus another seven eight drivers. So we total about total about ten drivers. They they're all in their own company. They're all right? in their own company. Yeah, they're all owner operators like me. You just help each other. We help each other, we cover the business, and that's how we've been doing it. Right. And has the economy forced you to change your work schedule? Like, do you have to work more than you used to, like before 9 11? Because mm. I'm sure that 9 11 people start, stopped going to Yes, but no, I don't, I don't work more than that. It's, it's, it's work probably less, but. See, this business is, you never know when the flights are going to come in on time or late, so it's like, uh, you work Saturdays, Sundays, day, night, all kinds, so it's, it's pretty much the same, it's just the business ever since 9-11 slowed down. So what would you say are some things that slow down the business, that make less people want to use a car company, private drivers, instead of using public transportation? It's because companies cut the number of trees, of three trips for business people to travel overseas or different ways because security, safety reasons, fuel, everything became expensive. So if those customers don't travel anymore, your boss, your business goes down, of course. So you rely a lot of travelers. Exactly. Has the economy affected your business at all? Of course. Yes. So? Uh, in my case, about 20, 30 percent of uh, affected. Well, like I said, less people travel. Gas went up. That's that's another question. Gas is one thing, and you know, traveling is a different thing. So gas really affect my business and every other business that is in, in any business, especially in transportation business. The prices are growing. Have your prices grown? No, that's one thing that using JMT Limousine Service, which my which is my company, that's one thing that up to now. Ever since I start my business, I haven't raised the prices. Even though things go up and down, up and down, my prices remain the same. This, the same since 1998. So, right. you, so you've been on the, your own on 1998. I've been on my own since 1998. And the prices have stayed the, the same. The prices are still the same, and I still have customers 
way behind 1998 up to now. They even asked me why I don't raise prices. Well, I just want to keep it like that as long as it don't go up to $5. If the prices go up to $5, then my price is going to go up. Who or what is the target audience for your business? Business people and people that travels for pleasure, but mostly it's business people. So it's more of wealthier people? Uh, I don't know if I should say wealthier or... But it's, it's average, okay. yeah, it's average, you know. Well, you've been going strong for over a decade with the same prices, and your business is also very strong, as we could see in the board all behind those you. runs? Mm -hmm. That's what you call them, right, every time you pick yes, up a person? Yes, yeah, they're all runs, and that's part of the business. That's Actually, that's the main thing of the business. And this is how you keep your, your books this in check? This is what I keep, uh, that's my booking, that's my... It's your life? Yeah. It's your work? It's my work, my office. And that's how I that's how I run the business. When I'm here, I book reservations. When I'm driving, you know, I just concentrate in driving. And but this is how, this is how I do it. Thank you, Carla, for that interview. And that concludes the news for today. Go. Hello, Mr. Trujillo. I'm Carla from EGMK. That was supposed to happen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Go. Have a seat. Hi, Mr. Trujillo. I'm Carla Trujillo from EJMK. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> Mr. Trujillo, I'm Carla Trujillo for EJMK. Thank nice you for doing you. this interview with me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good morning. This is my kitchen. <laughs> Go. Good morning, this is Miriam Hernandez reporting live from Walsall High School on yesterday's news. Go. Good morning, this is Miriam Hernandez reporting live from Roosevelt High School on today's news. The economy is affecting small businesses in the Boyle Heights community. Now we take it to Carla who will interview Jose Trujillo, an owner and operator of GMT Limousine Service. The economy is affecting small businesses in, Boyle, in the Boyle Heights community. Now we take it to Carla Trujillo that who will interview it. Owner and operator of GMT Limousine Service. Owner and operator of GMT Limousine Service. Owner and operator of JMT Limousine.